<laughs> All right, so Paul, once they get through the fiddle string, uh, they can find some of your stuff here. So tell us about some of the products that you brought in for us. This well, morning. at my little company, it's called Go Natural Goat Milk Beauty Products. We have a little farm and we have goats and we milk our goats and we make a soap out of the goat's milk. So here we have a variety of different scented soaps. And so soap is our main product. From that, we uh, grind up our soap and we put it into bath bags for a really nice Epsom salt goat milk bath bag with some oils. And then I have honeybees on my farm, and I take the wax off the hive, and I make 40 flavors of lip balm for the best lip balm ever. So what are some of the flavors that you have here? I see they are all labeled best lip balm ever, but if yeah. you had to uh, name a couple of different flavors or scents that we're working with. Well, the, the top flavors are uh, cherry, coconut, watermelon, pina colada. Um, we have uh, wintergreen, spearmint, um, peppermint. The what list just goes on. We have a cheesecake. Um, mint chocolate chip, every flavor that you can think of, we probably add it. Really a little bit of everything with, with 40 flavors of lip mm -hmm. balm. And the beauty of all these products, it's all local stuff. That's, that's, the, right. and that's the way the farmer's market operates in general. That's correct. Yeah. So, so how long did it take you to kind of expand your business to cover all these different products? Well, uh, we moved outside the city and we got a little farm and we started with chickens and then we had goats. And the goats had so much milk that we thought, well, let's not waste it, what can we do with it? We couldn't sell it because of the way in which um, it's a food product. I'd need a bigger kitchen to make it all work and there's regulations. But uh, putting it into soap uh, was a simple solution. And then everybody that we gave it to loved it and they said, you should start a business. So this is what started and then we went to the market and we had a fantastic time. Uh, the market was a very friendly place and everybody that comes and sees these products and others just has a fantastic time for, for being there. Well, the market, it can be difficult to sometimes smell what you're working with, but let me tell you, while we're in an indoor space and we don't have uh, wind blowing through the area, it smells phenomenal, all the stuff <laughs> that you've got here. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing it on display on Saturday. Fantastic. Marilyn, Paul, thank you for coming thank in you. this morning. Thank you very much.